Hey everybody, Yuri Motsley here, and today, this is the day right before the drive, we're going from Washington to Georgia, about 2,800 miles. So here is the Honda Ridgeline. It's fully loaded, or will be, in a little bit. We're gonna have some more stuff up front. But I got this fully maxed out, inside and out, and I think I'm at about 600, 700 pounds in the Honda Ridgeline. Everything is just maxed out as far as it can go. So, my brother in law Slav flew in from out of town to help me. He's gonna be driving the Subaru, which is also fully loaded. This is, I think, at 1,000, a little bit about a thousand pounds. And then we got the trailer, which is overloaded actually a little bit. Let's see, let's get this open. Uh oh. There we go. So, this trailer, well, this stuff is falling out, as you guys can see got some room but the weight limit is the big issue here that's rated for 3500 total gross weight and I'm right around I think it was 3800 so this is going to be a little bit pushing it but I think we're gonna be just fine so I'm gonna let you guys know how this trip goes I'm gonna talk about fuel economy uh, I'm gonna watch uh, the fuel uh, not the fuel but the transmission fuel temperature with the scan gauge. And uh, I'm really curious to see how the Honda is gonna handle this because I think the total weight that I'm going to be towing is gonna be roughly right around 4,800 pounds for this whole trip after everything's said and done and loaded in the truck. So uh, yeah, we'll look at fuel economy. We'll look at the temperature and see how often if, if I ever need to actually pull over and uh, let the truck cool down. But this is gonna be an interesting trip and I hope you guys enjoy this. So let's get this started. All right, so we're gonna be dropping down the Subaru. It looks like it's got enough height right now, but. That is some serious squat. I mean, we probably have, I don't know, maybe five inches off the ground in the back. So the Subaru is fully loaded. Now it's time to hook up the trailer and get this ready to go. Add on some extension mirrors on the sides just so we can see a little bit further in the back. wireless Bluetooth brake controller. This is cool because I don't have to wire the harness for the truck and I can just plug it back here. Control it from the back of my, from just my cell phone. Just plug it in, it's ready to go. This is really convenient. now fully loaded we have the trailer roughly around 3,800 pounds truck 
has about a thousand pounds in it with me so fully loaded we're looking at I think close to 4,800 pounds so there's gonna be a place to stop by and uh, weigh scale station we're gonna go stop by and see what it weighs but uh, truck's doing well squatting pretty good I think there was only like a two or two and a half inch squat so it's not bad I think I'm allowed three inches of squat for a 5,000 pound tow so it's looking good all right so we're gonna go ahead and grease the wheel hubs before we head out now that we have this greased up Actually, have both wheel hubs greased up now. Now we're ready for the road. So the first destination is Longmont, Colorado. It's uh, 1,272 miles, uh, 19 hours and 11 minutes, and our transmission fuel temperature is at 111 degrees uh, for the start of the trip. And uh, we're gonna have quite a bit of mountains to climb, uh, the Rockies, plus uh, some other mountains here in the greater Washington area. So. I'm really interested to see what the fuel economy is going to be and how hot the transmission fuel temperature is going to be once we hit those mountains. So with this load. So let's get this started. Enjoy about the Honda Ridge line, and one of the main reasons why I bought this truck over the, the new Toyota Tacoma 
was for this seating position because this honestly for trips like this I don't think uh, you can really find something more comfortable and more desirable than just to sit properly and enjoy this drive. So this is more of a touring vehicle and the Toyota Tacoma in my opinion is more of a just a workhorse. Um, so that's just an update for right now so let's get back to the road. On the trip, my brother-in-law suggested that we get walkie-talkies, and actually, this has been pretty convenient because uh, a lot of times we're going through areas that uh, we don't have any service. So, definitely recommend for anybody when you guys are going to be doing long road trips, and say you have uh, a big crew of people, maybe you know, obviously more than one, um, this would be a good opportunity to uh, get a walkie-talkie and get something with good range that's going to be reliable. Say you break down and you have to go somewhere. So, Slav, thanks for that idea. Um, the other thing that I do want to mention is the adaptive cruise control and that it has lane keep assist. So I'm actually towing right now. Don't know if it's actually the, technically the right thing to do to have it in cruise control, but I'm using that feature because I'm a little bit lazy to keep my foot on the pedal. I think it's okay though. Um, obviously if someone's braking, it'll slow down and help brake for you. So that's a wonderful feature to have. But I do love the lane keep assist because if I let go of my hands, and we're driving, the vehicle itself is maintaining and is somewhat autonomous uh, for about 15 seconds. And I don't need to do any corrections and it just stays straight inside the road uh, or in the lanes. Uh, and we just gotta beep this at steering required. All you do is you just kind of yank on the steering wheel a little bit and there you go. It's back to steering and staying within the lane and it does really well. Anyways, that's just an update on the Honda Ridgeline. Uh, just something that I wanted to let you guys know, a feature that I do like and why I would recommend the Honda Ridgeline over the Tacoma if somebody was planning on getting a vehicle uh, for this general purpose, uh, that the Honda Ridgeline honestly is such a capable truck. Fuel economy is amazing, seating position is amazing, the in-bed trunk storage compartment is freaking amazing, one of the greatest things that Honda has and it, I use it every single day. Uh, it's it's just fantastic and there's so many little things about the Honda Ridgeline that are great. You go to the fuel pump and you don't have to unscrew your gas cap. Uh, th these are just little nuances but I think Honda has just has such a great team that they've really thought about all these little issues and just thought how can we make it just that much better. So props to Honda for going out of the way to think well outside of the box and design a truck that is truly uh, for the consumer, for the general public, for the person who wants to have that uh, capabilities of a truck but doesn't want to have the sacrifice of the comfort and the luxuries of say an SUV or, or, a, or a minivan or something of that, that sort. So all of those comforts, they're all within the Honda Ridgeline but you have the practicality to be able to still use it as a truck and tow stuff and that's just yeah, just it's an amazing feature to have and such an amazing truck so anyways back to the road So we just pulled up into Oregon, and uh, one thing I'm gonna say, I hate these side view mirrors. They're absolute garbage, so they're gonna come off. I actually don't think that they're helping out much. So that's one. And that's the other. I, they're probably just affecting my fuel economy more than actually helping me out, so. There we go. But other than that, we got 13 gallons used up on about 260 miles or so. The trailer is doing pretty well. Everything 
so far seems to be going pretty smoothly. Trying to take our time a little bit right now because the wheels were getting a little bit warm. It is uh, about 90 degrees outside at a high of 99, so give the truck a little bit of time to breathe as well. But uh, all in all, this Honda Ridgeline is doing and handling this job really well. Um, I couldn't be more happier with this truck. But anyways, we're gonna get ready for the next side of the trip and uh, next 300 miles, here we come.